thank you and John Carpenter and Deborah Hill because if, if it wasn't for you and uh, many others making these films, there would be no Midnight Madness yeah, program. Yeah, far out. Exactly. So, I usually welcome people to Midnight Madness, but you are Midnight Madness. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Ahí. 
y quedó cautivado con la primera lectura. Evidentemente no se parecía mucho a lo que acabáis de ver, era una obra teatral. Yeah, well, we know each other, and actually the script, uh, Carlos got it, and uh, was fascinated by it, uh, by the first read. And, and what, I was, what I was also interested about the film is how so, there's so much ambiguity to the script. Um, did, did the script provide that detail, or was that something, or that lack of detail, that ambiguity, or was that something that you intentionally wanted to preserve in the film, where you don't quite know what the administration re represents and leave that up to the audience's imagination and interpretation. Antes, eh, una cosita solo. Eh, los guionistas, los habéis visto en la película, son los dos que salen en la bañera. En el... Ok, so just in case if you know the, the, the two uh, script, the two uh, right. script writers are the ones that are showing on the bathtub. Oh, the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the writers. And the question, uh, and let me try to see if I can remember, um, if um, the ambiguity um, of this film was because of the script lack of uh, detail, or you wanted it was intentional for the audience to get that? Um... Hey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sí, eh, efectivamente, nosotros no queríamos soltar un panfleto, no queremos adoctrinar a nadie. Eh, lo que hemos querido siempre es eh, exponer un problema y que cada uno vea un poco cuál es, son, cuál es su visión de lo que debe hacer. Esta película no va de cambiar el mundo, esta película va de cambiarse a uno mismo. De, esta película apela a la solidaridad eh, de, que puede hacer cada uno. ¿Qué hacemos cada uno de nosotros? en cada situación, si estamos en el nivel 200 o si estamos en el nivel 6. Yes, that is right. Uh, it's actually to expose the issue and what we have as each other is of our vision. We're not trying to change the world here. We're exposing solidarity and what do we do, uh, you know, how we question each other on what to do in these sort of uh, circumstances. Either we are on level 200 or on level 0. And the other uh, question before I throw it to the audience is just the production design is so magnificent and I also think very inspiring to a filmmaker who might feel like, oh, I don't have the resources to do something with an ambitious scope. But it seems to me that you build one set, and I want to know if that is correct, if you build one set and you simply just redress it for every level. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Um, bueno, que tenemos un guión muy teatral. Entonces, cuando llegó a nuestras manos, mi obsesión fue eh, convertirlo en algo mucho más físico, algo más cinematográfico y algo que fuera más asumible para un público más de cine que de teatro, porque era una película muy ideológica, muy de diálogos y apenas había nada físico. First part of the answer, come on. Well, yes, it, since it was a script for, uh, meant for the theater, we needed to make it more physical and more towards the movie. Sí, era una, un, since the script, there was a lot of lines of, uh, a lot of spoken, uh, we wanted to become, make that ideology into more of a, for the movie, becoming as a movie. Y claro, para eso necesitábamos construir un hoyo con un aspecto muy real y muy alejado del teatro. Entonces, eh, evidentemente, ese sitio no existe y lo construimos. Another part of the question. And so uh, we wanted to, we built the set, we wanted to make it real, very real and very far from uh, the, uh, the theater, from a play. So we had to do it our, ourselves. Y efectivamente construimos dos niveles. Eh, construimos dos niveles y una pequeña parte abajo para poder poner la plataforma, una rueda que llevará la plataforma. Cuando estábamos, cuando rodábamos hacia arriba, lo hacíamos desde el nivel de abajo y cuando rodábamos hacia, miramos hacia abajo, nos subíamos al nivel de arriba. 
So we built two levels um, and we had a little one below so we could do and build the platform. So when the platform was going up, we were doing the camera from below all the way up and vice versa when the platform was going down. Who is your chef on the film? <laughs> <laughs> La mayoría de los planos de talle son mis manos. Sí, los caracoles son mis manos. Like the snail scene, there are my hands. Most of the details are my hands. Oh, right. Master chef, master filmmaker. Do we have questions in the audience? Uh, yes, right there, first. Um, so oh, you next, sorry, yes. Yeah. Why was the word obviously used so much? I suppose that's a question for the writers, but that, that is a very funny. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> yeah, isn't it obvious? Eh, bueno, a ver, es un, David tiene una forma de escribir muy repetitiva y genera humor en este tipo de, con este tipo de cuñas para dar personalidad a, a los personajes y sobre todo también para ver eh, este, esta coletilla fue creada para que después uno del muerto Trino Agassi, Goren, heredara esta palabra y se viera cómo esa, esa mezquita que representa Trino Agassi se queda para siempre en el, dentro de Goren. Well, the screenwriter David actually has a way to repeat itself, to give a little bit of character or personality to the character. And when uh, Trimagasis died, it was a way also to um, give a little bit of heritage to um, the lead, Goring. Where he had come from and his past following him, yes. You, uh, Shane, go ahead. Uh, so, the piece that was really great as far as the Okay, so if I maybe to simplify it, he, the question is about did the structure change from the script to the screen and what motivated the casting for each role, I think, were the two, two parts of that question. Bueno, eh, a ver, el, el proceso de escritura, eh, como os decíamos, eh, como, eh, parte de un guión de, de teatro. Eh, después fue un proceso muy tormentoso de escritura. Sí, sí, no, pero claro, para saber cómo llegar a... Eh, y bueno, a ver, la película está estructurada. Realmente la película... Eh, Eh, se rige más por una narrativa emocional que una física de lo, que una narrativa física de los hechos. La cosa es eh, navegar en esa emocionalidad que nos lleva hasta el final. Entonces, eh, respondiendo a esta a este objetivo, estructuramos los diferentes perfiles de personajes en la bueno a, la, a lo largo de la película. Okay, the script is an, an actual complicated script, so we wanted to do a, uh, an emotional narrative rather than physical. So, in order to make to go into this goal, is we try to be consequent to our casting for these profiles. Y los criterios del casting, pues bueno, una vez que sabes qué perfiles, a qué tiene que responder cada personaje, pues es buscar la la persona más adecuada. No puede Buscamos muchísimo, es un proyecto muy, pe muy pequeño en cuanto a dimensión de, de presupuesto, pero no en cuanto a trabajo, eh, hay muchísima gente, muchísimo trabajo de muchísima gente y una de las cosas que realmente eh, trabajamos fue el casting y la búsqueda de los, persona de los actores idóneos para interpretar a cada, cada personaje. Uh, we did spend a lot of time on casting work. Uh, it is a small project when it comes to um, the budget perspective, but um, it is a very big project when it comes to the people and the talent. We did take a long time to um, pick uh, the perfect profiles and the perfect uh, characters and actors. 
Uh, right there. The significance of Don Quixote. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Was Don Quixote an element of the screenplay? Esto, de hecho, al principio en la primera versión del del guión estaba mucho más presente esto. La presencia, o sea, la importancia es máxima. Es al final incluso veis que físicamente el protagonista cada vez se parece más a Don Quixote y es un bueno, es un caballero andante y es un luchador en busca de quimeras y de cosas imposibles que al final no sabemos si los conseguirá. Actually, Don Quixote was uh, more present than before. Um, it, 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 you can see along the movie that the lead actually uh, resembles physically more and more. And um, it is uh, a, knight, a knight armor and a fighter, and we'll see if at the end And he has a central pants a bit too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, right there. How many times did you have to re prepare the feast? So it was a, a, a six-week filming, and we did it 18 days with the platform. 18 times you had to redo that feast, or that full feast. Wow. Um, more questions? Right over there. Yes. What was your one IMDb? <laughs> Been waiting for that one. El Samurai Plus. <laughs> Samurai Plus. All right. What about food? What food would you pick for your menu? solidario si estás en el 14 y puedes dejar pasar algo pero como actuarías cuando lo que tienes no es suficiente ni siquiera para ti mismo entonces la película va situando a los protagonistas en, 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 en situaciones muy complicadas para ver cómo reaccionan en cada situación asking you what you would do if you're on the level six or if you're on level 200. It's very easy to be so caring and solidarity with, uh, if you're on a level 14, you can let it go for one day or two. But if you don't have enough uh, for yourself, are you caring enough to give away? And that's where the lead, the lead characters were uh, trying to go through uh, complicated situations like these. All right, thank you so much. I think we're gonna end it on that. Guys, don't forget, both of the films.